with the coronavirus running around, everyone's stuck at home doing push-ups for the gram. Obviously, there's a lot more going on, but a lot of people are at home posting push-ups to their Instagram story. All the social media push-ups got me thinking. How many push-ups could our favorite fitness influencers do? I'm talking about the Athlean X's, the Jeff Nippards, and the Vitruvian Physiques of the world. Could they be flexing on us with hundreds of push-ups, but holding back because the challenge is only 10? There's only one way to find out, and that's to ask. So let's go slide into those DMs. If you've seen other DM videos before, mine's gonna be different in that I'm gonna ask everyone the same thing. The words and context may change, but I wanna know how many push-ups all these people can do without stopping. Your boy over here has zero Instagram clout, so I need to be strategic with all the messages I'm sending. Hopefully I get responses. All right guys, let's start with person number one, Chris Barnard of Overtime Athletes. I really like Chris. His content on YouTube with over OTA is awesome. He's very science-based. He was a former college athlete. Huge fan of Chris's. I'm sure he could crush a lot of push-ups, so let's just get right into it. Hey, Chris. Seems like a pretty reasonable thing to say. Maybe I'll follow up with a little more, some, a little more color. But I think that's a good place to start. But figured you could probably, you could do a lot more. Haha. The hahas are personable, guys. Gotta gotta come off as a friend here. Alright, first message, done. Next up, Vitruvian Physique. He's my favorite fitness YouTuber, hands down. I like his evidence-based approach. He's a no BS guy. Very good camera personality. Let's message. Hey, Igor. Upper body strength seems like your thing. Alright, cool. Two down. Let's see how many we can do before Instagram makes us take a break. Up next, we've got... Oh yeah, Mike Tornabeen, Don Mazzetti. I've always been a lower body guy. Like, I love my deadlifts, love my squats. Never really took upper body stuff seriously until recently. And honestly, the Don Mazzetti character is a big reason why. So, hey Mike, how many push-ups could you do in one sitting? Also, how many Modellos could Dom put down without leaving the cap? Up next, we've got Omar Isaf. Eric Helms. He started to do a lot of, of like the strongman sort of stuff, which is cool, because he's obviously a very athletic guy, but he's really nice inspiration for what like a normal athlete could do when facing the strongman events. All right, done with four. Next up, obviously I mentioned Jeff Nippard. I mean, Jeff Nippert is the gold standard, I'd say, with Athlean X in terms of posting YouTube videos that actually help drive results. I mean, this guy's the best. Hey, Jeff, what could we put? Or no, let's just say the fans are dying to know, because I'm sure they are. Next up, Christian Guzman, Max Tuning. I think Max, in the grand scheme of vloggers on YouTube, doesn't get enough love. Everyone check him out, cool guy. Hey, Max. How many push-ups could you do? But obviously, please include dude, because duh. So up next, Jeremy Ethier. He's, I think, honestly, hit with Nip Jeff Nippard. Their content is so well edited and easy to digest that anyone can go to their videos with any simple question and get a very well thought out and clear answer. Message. Perfect, I think that's solid. Let's add two, uh, two exclamation points. Or, let, or let's just throw a number to ballpark it. Let's just say 60, question mark. Bang. On to the next one. Stone Wilson. Jeff Cavalier of Athlean X. Of course. Um, let's message him. Just uh, let, let's, let's give him the Jeremy Ethier bar. Let's say 60, question mark. Double question mark. Bam. All right. Greg Doucette. His YouTube recently suggested his Natty or Not stuff to me, and honestly, it's always the same thing, but I keep coming back for more. I can't explain it. He's such a high-energy person. Hey, Greg. The Natty or Not series is coming in clutch during the quarantine. So, thanks. Billion. So buff dudes up next. Their content's pretty fun. I think they're a couple brothers. I just know they've had their dad who's like in really, really good shape in their videos too. I'm thankful to them. Their content has certainly helped me out in the past. Uh, how do I address them? It's two people. Uh, hi dudes. 
who could do more? All right, Nick Bear. The guy's an absolute cyborg, if you don't know him. He's super strong, he crushes reps, high weights, he runs marathons. How many people of that sort of athleticism could there be? I'm guessing not many. Send. Gabby Shea. Bradley Martin. Uh, I should have done this one with Dom. I mean, Mike. But yeah, Brad, I actually don't, it's hard to glean from Brad's videos, like, what he's like. He seems like a very nice, authentic guy. I mean, like a lot of the videos he's in, like a lot of the collaborations he's done, and that's his style. I mean, it is what it is. Good for him. Hi, Brad. Let's just get right into it. How many? Bang. All right. Next up. Yeah, I gotta do Rob Lipset. I'm more familiar with his eating videos than his fitness stuff. The guy's metabolism is out of this world. He said after doing the 10,000 calorie challenge, he still felt like he had room, and it wasn't until he did the 20,000 calorie challenge that he actually felt like he couldn't eat anymore. How many push-ups after eating 10,000 calories? Next up, Brad Schoenfeld. Aaron Marino. Tim Ferriss. I mean, his books were life-changing for me. Like, they, there's no other way around it. Four-hour work week, four-hour body. Even though he's more than just a fitness influencer, I do think it's fair to say he's a fitness influencer. Hi, Tim. Quick question. How many push-ups could you do in one sitting without taking a break? 60? I think that's fair. Who else? Scott Herman. You can kind of bet on him, just like with Athlean X, that they have a video on, like, anything under the sun. I've gone to Scott Herman on, like, more niche-specific exercises. His net on fitness stuff is huge, so... Scott, you the man. Oh, whoa! Alright. Max responded. That's sweet. He is the man. I didn't know I've been doing this for so long. I, I guess I don't get the responses on my Safari, but... Max, thanks for the response. 4,000... That's a humble answer, Max. I would have guessed 5K. Thanks, Max. Who was I gonna... Okay, that completely derailed me. All right, next up, Strawn Beckham. Gorilla Zen. Larry Wheels. How to Beast. Oh, Cali Muscle. This guy's insane. Ridiculous. The man's just a character. He's an entertainer and a fitness guy. I'm gonna keep it straight to push-ups because this guy's probably done his fair share of calisthenics in the day. 100 plus? We're gonna see him up for success. Cali Muscle could do 100 plus. Let's not get it twisted. Next up, we've got Matt Does. Alan Thrall. Jose Zuniga, aka Teaching Men's Fashion. The Rock. Alright, there's a stretch. If I had just done people like The Rock, people with 176 million followers, okay, I mean, I couldn't find that many people that base if I tried, but the chances I'd get a response are zero, and that means this video wouldn't be successful, and then I wouldn't be able to sell it to you guys. Nor would you really be that interested in watching me send 100 DMs and not get a single response. That said, the only bad question is the one that goes unasked. I think we might have another response. Let's check it out. Oh, it's just Max. Max liked the answer. All right, Max. Thanks again for participating in the Sebastian of Postgrad Fit asks you questions. Oh, right, The Rock. I think I was in the middle of trying to ask The Rock a question. What would The Rock fans be called? The Rockettes? Nah, that's dumb. The fans must know. Bam. Up next, we have Zac Efron, Kevin Hart, Arnold, Schwarzenegger. Onto some strong, strong, strong boys, you know, like the world strongest man type of deal. The world, the raw weightlifting record breakers. First, we've got new guy on the block, Julius Maddox. I think he set the raw bench press record recently. I think he benched like 750 pounds, 770 pounds raw. Like, what the heck? Props to you, Julius. You're literally... You're an absolute alien in terms of your your upper body strength. He's got a lot of man with him, so push-ups might not be his favorite exercise. On to the next big boy. We've got Half Thor Bjornsson, Eddie Hall. He strict pressed like 400 pounds, which I remember that a video where like Thor goes up and barely push presses like uh, some crazy heavy weight. And then Eddie Hall comes up and does it all with his upper body and just crushed it no sweat. I mean the guy is just an absolute behemoth of a human being as well. A row without stopping. It's done with Eddie. Now we're on to Martins. His YouTube has been growing on me. I mean he's just a fun guy to follow. Um, big fan of his channel. I hope he keeps up with it. 
boy is that guy strong and I and the technical approach is awesome. Hope recovery is going well. Yeah, I'm feeling good about this one. Brian Shaw, he's been on YouTube for a while, a lot longer than most of these like strong men. It's fun to see how a person that size eats and trains and he's on that list. He's on this, he's on my list for a reason. Hey Brian, what's a fun thing to say with Brian? It's hard, he's such a very focused dude in his videos, he's so business. It's hard to know like what his interests are outside of like maybe his sponsors, uh, done. There we go, baby. Up next, I have a few basketball YouTubers. Cash Nasty, Tristan Jass, Chris London, AJ LaPre, The Professor. Uh, now we're on to, here we just have a mixed assortment of people. We have a couple more um, fitness creators. First, we have Awesome Dunham, a uh, very jacked dude. Had some good advice on increasing my pull-ups. Pull-ups is an area of weakness for me. He has good content on that. He's obviously big on calisthenics and good at pull-ups. I wouldn't be surprised if this dude can do a lot of push-ups. 100 plus. Let's give him a big number. Done with Austin Dunham. Um, Rich Froning. Mark Bell. Now Brandon Harding is next. I like Brandon a lot because in his vlogs, he's extremely straight up about what he does. I have a lot of respect for him for that. That's why whatever number he tells me with push-ups, I believe it. He's just uh, seems to be a, a high in a high integrity man. Why don't we ask him about the hard body? I have no idea how he got that. All right, so it would be remiss to not hit up any of the Chelsea Blues about fitness when I am doing a fitness video. So right off the bat, I threw a list together of some of the first teamers. Oh no, I think I, ah uh, guys, I think I reached the DM limit. Yeah, all right guys. Darn, we had just gotten there. I guess I'll see you in a few hours. What's up guys, I'm done with my ban and I come bearing good news. We got two responses while I was gone. First, Eric Helm said, oh wow, that was a great response. I actually want to think a little bit before responding to that. That was a, er Eric, that was a great response. Thank you so much for that. All right, let's see what to say. Yeah, okay, so this is what I settled down. Thoughtful, res detailed response for Dr. Helms. I'm happy with that. All right, let's see what the buff dudes had to say. Oh, they actually did a push-ups challenge. Oh, that's sick. Thanks for answering that, and I will for sure check out that video. On to the next one. Wait, what? I can't message these guys still? I, I tr what? I'll see you guys tomorrow. What's up guys? It's been a few days later. I wanted to let any existing ban just completely go away, but I think we're ready to go and crush out the rest of these messages. To recap, I've had some more responses, so I want to go over those with you guys, and then we'll go back and finish sending the messages. Sound good? All right, this is what you missed. Eric Helms, super helpful. If you want to have good push-ups, have good push power, which I guess makes sense. All right, let's go to the next one. So Scott Herman replied, thank you, Scott. He said he didn't know, but totally fair of him not to want to answer the question or estimate without having a real number. Austin Dunham also reached out, thank you. Like Scott, he also didn't know how many push-ups he could do, and he still has the interest to get to know his fans, get to know their goals. These are the sorts of people who become really successful. So Austin, I see you, thanks for taking part. And then Brandon Harding also responded. So it turns out there wasn't anything more to the hard body other than his last name was Harding. So 75 is pretty insane, I let him know. Thank you, Brandon. Let's get cracking on some more messages and try to crush through these last 50, all right? We're gonna pick off with the rest of the Chelsea boys. Not gonna go too, too much into each one of them since I don't know how many of you guys care, but we'll just, worst case, we'll do a quick montage on it. Next up, we have a bunch of NFL draft guys. Guys who killed it at the Combine, guys who teams are dying to get their hands on come the draft this month. So these guys can probably do tons of push-ups. Done. If you know me, you know I'm a diehard Titans fan. So get ready, because we're about to message the push-up questions to a lot of them. Let's just get right into it. <clears throat> next up, my next favorite American sports team, the Boston Celtics. Love them. Got a few of the younger players teed up. They're gonna get quizzed about push-ups. Let's get right into it. Those are the Celtics players I wanted to reach out to. 
These last 20 come from all different areas, and again, I stuck to the philosophy of picking people I was familiar, or picking athletes I liked. People who were either like physical specimens, or had really big platforms that inspired many different people. So first up, we have three NFL big boys. Done. Uh, next up, we have Chris Jones. Chris Jones, Pump Chasers, seems like a really cool guy. Also, extremely, extremely strong guy too. I haven't hit him with 80 because he's not that tall and has been training for a really long time. I think this guy eats push-ups for breakfast, so we're gonna we're gonna hit him with the 80 spot. Sent. Matt Ogus, Russell Orhi, Michael Andrew, Cody Miller, Lasha Talakadze, Taylor Atwood, Robert Oberst. Oh, we got a response. Let's see what it is. Oh damn. He said, I lift weights, man. I'm not in PE class anymore. <laughs> That's an awesome response. All right. <clears throat> Next up, Connor Murphy, Juji, Magnus, Ben Smith, Snow Wilson, Ice Coffee. <clears throat> Zach Perna, John Venus, Kino Body. All right, we've sent all the DMs. I'll be back one last time to recap all the messages, who wins the push-up contest, and wrap it all up. Stay tuned. What's up, guys? It's been a few days, and no one else responded. But that means all the results are now in, and we can declare our push-up contest winner. For starters, there were no losers here. A big thank you to everyone for participating, especially for the people who responded. Everyone who didn't give me a number got put in the unranked cool kids category. So in no particular order, we have Chris Jones, we have Austin Dunham, and we have Scott Herman. Thank you for participating. You guys are awesome. I'm going to link to all their stuff down below. And now for the moment we've all been waiting for. In fifth place, with a total of 50 push-ups, we have Brandon from Buff Dudes. In fourth place, with a total of 58 push-ups, we have... Hudson from Buff Dudes. In third place, with a total of 60 push-ups, we have Dr. Eric Helms. In second place, with a total of 75 push-ups, we have Brandon Harding. And with an overwhelming 4,000 push-ups, the undisputed first place winner, Max Tuning. Congratulations, Max. You beat out a stacked field to win this contest. Oh, wait, what's this? Uh-oh. So it looks like the World Push-Up Federation did an investigation and found out that Max's dog, Dude, was counting his push-ups with tail wags. This led for the score to be both inflated and invalidated. This means, unfortunately, that Max has to get moved from first place to the unranked cool kids section of the contest. That said, it looks like we now have a new winner. Brandon Harding is the first official winner of the Postgrad Fit Insta DM push-up contest. Congrats, Brandon. I'm sure you, your friends, and family are all extremely proud. Also, a big shout out to everyone who responded to my Instagram DM. I'm going to plug all their YouTube and Instagram channels down below in the description, so make sure to check it out and go follow them. Alright guys, that's the video. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments, how many push-ups could you do in a row without stopping? Alright guys, stay fit, stay healthy, and I'll see y'all next time.